This is Gadget Stop Through 2 1. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about my first impressions of the Sailor Pro Color 500. Now, this is a steel nib fountain pen, and I've got another steel nib fountain pen by Sailor, the LaCool. Now, there are some differences between these two pens, and I'll go over those in a comparison video. I don't have ink in this one right now, but one of the differences I want to note is the LaCool has a very simple steel nib. It's just got the Sailor Anchor, and it says it's got a notation for medium fine. Now, the retailer that I bought this from did not include the nib size in the description and someone had written in asking what size the nib was and the retailer said medium fine. Now, the first thing you notice is this is a much more ornate and attractive steel nib. It's more similar in design to the uh, nibs on the 1911 standard excuse me, and the Pro Gear Slim. Uh, when I do a comparison video, you'll see it's not exactly the same size nib. There are some slight differences, but they are very similar. But the one thing I wanted you to note was here on the side, it's got an F for fine. But I will agree with the retailer, it does write more like a medium fine. Now, Sailor nibs write, run very fine like most other Japanese uh, nibs. So there's not a lot of difference between the fine, the medium fine, and the medium, but it is noticeable. So I thought we would do a quick writing sample. So you can see how they compare, and then we'll take a look at some of the design features of the Pro Color. All right, let's take a look at the fine nib first. My Pro Gear Slim is the fine. Let me get my glasses on. Now, this is a very fine nib, and um, with a, a point this small, you're going to feel some feedback. It feels like you're writing with a very pointy object. Now, considering it's that pointy, um, it's fairly comfortable to write with it, but I prefer fine nibs. Now, the Pro Color Fine does write more like a medium fine. Let's see if you'll be able to tell. I'm going to write medium fine just so we can tell the difference. Now, on the wetness test, there's not a lot of difference, but I don't know. I think I can tell the difference. Look at the A there. We'll look at it a little bit closer in just a minute. Now, the medium, you'll definitely be able to tell the difference. And I could tell, I could tell the tipping on this was a little bit larger. It just, it felt larger. It did, it felt just a hair smoother and the medium really feels smoother and you can tell it's putting down more ink so if you don't want to spend a lot of money if you're Oh, 
let's see. The medium fine is a nice compromise between those two. You can tell it a little more on the word sailor. Now, it may seem like we're splitting hairs here, but uh, I think if you, if you like a, a smoother writing pen, I think the medium is the way to go. If you um, are looking for the best value, the steel medium fine is the way to go. And if you just want a really fine nib, the fine is the way to go. Um, I prefer the fine nib for writing in my Hobonichi with those little tiny grids. But, okay, let's take a look at um, some of the design features here. The, knit, the uh, clip is a little bit, it's not as tight. It's not a whole lot of difference, but it's, a, it's not as tight as the clip on the 1911 or the Pro Gear. And it's just perfectly smooth. It doesn't have the, um, I'll just have to show you. See, instead of having those little, the little tear de design, it's perfectly smooth. It's the same shape and same size. Mm, my focus is just not wanting to work. See, I think, I still think it's pretty classy looking. Uh, the cat band is a little different. It's a one-piece cat band. Now, I will say, I have seen some um, Pro Gear Slim demonstrators that had this cat band on it. I prefer this cat band, but I think this one's pretty nice looking. It says the same thing on it. It says... Uh, founded 1911 Sailor Japan and let's see you can kind of see up in there this is nice and smooth it's not there's no rough edges that are gonna scratch your pen uh, the section is the same color as the rest of the pen just like the just like the more expensive pens the threads are you know they're not going to bother you you can't hardly feel them uh the step is very small um it's for a person with small hands it's large enough to use unposted but if you post it it posts nice and deeply and it just fits very comfortably in your hand. The center of gravity is right here. It just fits real nicely. I love this color. It's what really drew me to this is it's almost exactly the same color as the fountain pen that my dad used when he was in high school. This is one of the first cartridge one of the first pens that used a cartridge. In fact, it still had the one of the original cartridges in it, and it had ink in it when he gave it to me, so I had to clean that out. But I like I've always liked the color of this pen, but it's just it's not very pleasant to use. The nib's not real smooth. It's got a fine nib, which I like fine nibs, but this one's just not very smooth. The it the snap cap doesn't snap. It's just friction fit, and it kind of wiggles a little bit and spins a little bit. Uh, but I've always liked the color of it, and this was just a, an inexpensive pen. I think it was unofficially called the Schaefer Student Pen. And when I saw this pen, it just reminded me of my dad's pen. Now, the color you're seeing right here is not the color it is in real life. This looks like pink with orange in it. I think that's what I'm seeing in the viewfinder. In real life, it's red with orange in it. It's darker than this. So if you're interested in this pen, take a look at some other pictures um, on the internet. Maybe you'll see one that's 
a more accurate color, but I really like this. And I've got a sample of KWZ grapefruit on the way I got from Van S. Pens. I've also got a, I got an entire jar of Sailor Gentle Black because these, these Sailor pens are dry writers and a dry ink in these is just really unpleasant. I have found that the Sailor Black is just gives you a more pleasant writing experience. So in the fine nib, I'm going to be using black. Now in the others, in the medium, I'm going to still play around. And I would like to be able to use the KWZ grapefruit in, in this one when school starts back for grading. Because I think it would be a nice, it's a nice color to match this pen. Oh, let me see. Oh, one of the things I wanted to mention on the Pro Color, the end is a little bit different than the 1911. And I'm sure this was just a cost cutting measure. It doesn't have the little ring down here. The 1911 is perfectly smooth. And I noticed this in pictures before I got this. And I thought it was like some kind of design element, like it maybe had something to do with posting the pen, but yeah, it doesn't really. It's just a little ring right here. You can hear it, there's a line, but really, it's not that noticeable. And some of the little things you had to sacrifice on this pen, I think are worth the sacrifice because it, this is just a nice, this pen is a nice value. Of the pens that I have, now there are lots more Sailor pens models out there, but of the pens I have, the Lacool is the least expensive. And it has, you know, the, the least attractive nib. And it, it's noticeably not as smooth as the other pens. Now, the Pro Color has the nicer looking nib, nicer trim features, nicer uh, cat band, um, and it writes noticeably smoother than the Lacool. Um, it kind of falls in line with the gold nibs, I would say. The fine nib wrote you know, not as smooth, then the medium fine was a little bit smoother, then the medium was even smoother than that. So the Pro Color, I said it was probably the best value. The Lacool is in the $20 to $30 range. The Pro Color 500, I've seen it in the $40 to $60 range, depending on where you're getting it. And the Pro Gear Slim and the 1911 Standard, they start out at about $90 and they just go up from there. They can get fairly expensive. So really the Pro Color I think is the best value. The only downside is I believe it only comes in that medium fine or fine nib. I think it's only one nib size. But I kind of like it. I'm going to do some more comparison videos. but. Uh, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you'd like to see more videos like this, please subscribe to my channel.